Hello, everyone, anyone. Welcome to Verbling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, as the case may be. Howdy, howdy. Okay, in this uh, class, oh, by the way, I'm Teacher Oakley. Hello. I'm having a bad hair day. Okay. In any case, in this class, we get some participants here. We're going to be talking about riddles. If you know what riddles are, riddles, sometimes called brain teasers. Okay. Uh, these are um, ironic, sometimes based on wordplay, uh, word puzzles, which you can uh, try to figure out. They're, they usually involve some kind of surprise pun or uh, some uh, wordplay. Hello, Pavel. How are you? Hello. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, and you? I am... Oh, fine. <laughs> I had to think. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm fine, too. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. What we have here are... Uh, I'm going to share with you. I, I don't know how I can do this because... Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, no. I, I've already got the answers. Oh, they're not mixed. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> I, I am not properly prepared for this class. I didn't do this correctly. I'll just have to give you the riddles and see if you can figure them out. Hi, Michael. How are you? Hi, Oakley. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm okay. Let me try something. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. I'm going to try to do a screen share. Well, let, let's try it this way. Let's see how smart you guys are. Okay, we're going to be looking at some riddles. Uh, and see if you can figure them out. Let's try this. Pavel, what animal is gray and has a trunk? Why did this come out like this? Maybe elephant. <laughs> it seems logical, doesn't it? <laughs> Boy, that seems too easy. But... No. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, uh, can you think of an alternate answer? Okay, that's how a, a riddle works, actually. It's, there's an ob seemingly an obvious answer. Sometimes it's not obvious. Sometimes there, there might be a seemingly obvious answer, but in fact, it's another silly answer. Uh, what, what means uh, trunk in this context? Aha! And there, Pavel has hit on the clue. Okay, a trunk has different meaning, different meanings. A trunk can be that part of an elephant. A trunk can also be a very large, I can't really say a suitcase, but it's a piece of luggage, but it's very big. Um, kind of looks like a pirate's chest. It's quite large, and you can put a lot of things in it, usually very heavy. It may require two people. Is a trunk. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, not applicable to this riddle, but uh, also we have the word trunks, but that's always with an S. Uh, Trunks are swim trunks. You go swim shorts that, that you swim in, that men swim in. Men swim in swim trunks. But that's not applicable. Okay, what animal is gray and has a trunk? <laughs> mm, many animals is gray. Uh, yeah, right. Hippo. Uh, rhino. Rhino, yeah. Rhino. Okay. Uh, These are trunk. Uh, hmm. uh, 
I don't understand what it means. Trunk and this. Uh, no, you have the right idea, actually. You totally have the right idea. It's a trunk. Maybe swim trunk, swim trunks in this context. No, not in this context, not at all. No. It's very silly. The answer, you have the right idea, actually. Uh, the answer is a mouse going on vacation. Mouse. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. Mouse. Uh, did you invent vacation? this riddle? No. Okay. Did I, you? I, I most certainly did not. Made up? <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Michael. I. I got messed up when I was preparing for this class. I, I, they're supposed to be, I'm supposed to have a sheet with the questions and then the mixed answers, so you have a choice of different answers. But unfortunately, I goofed, and all the answers are directly across from the riddle. I don't know why I did that. Maybe I have two versions and I uploaded the wrong one. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we can just try some riddles. Okay? Mouse with suitcase. <laughs> a mouse with suitcase. Uh, yeah, a mouse on vacation. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Michael, try this one. What animal eats and drinks with its tail? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, uh, okay. would be uh, mm, I don't know. Okay. Elephant. Bubble? <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> With its tail. Okay. Uh, wrong. The correct answer. They all do. No animal takes off its tail when it eats. Ha. 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 Okay. The the nose of elephant uh, looks like it looks like uh, it looks like uh, tail a tail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. All right. You guys can, by the way, since we're obviously just going to share riddles in this class, since my activity was totally wrong, I messed up, you guys can think of riddles too. Uh, if you can think of any. All right. Uh, okay, Pavel, why do mother kangaroos hate rainy days? <laughs> uh, maybe uh, what uh, 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 they uh, 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 what uh, uh, what to his back on the belly. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you know that part of the kangaroo in front where the babies stay? Their, it's called their pouch. Is that what you mean? Their belly? Do you mean the mother's pouch? Pouch? Yeah, because kangaroos are marsupials, right? Do you know this word? Marsupial. Pouch. Uh -huh. Pouch. 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 <laughs> yeah. Pouch, like a pocket, kind of. <laughs> Except for an animal. Okay, the stupid answer here. Why do mother kangaroos hate rainy days? Uh, they hate rainy days because their children have to play inside. Okay. So what is the idea? 
the idea is a kangaroo has a pouch, and this small yeah. baby kangaroo has to play inside the pouch, inside the like next to the mother's stomach. You know, kicking and jumping around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. These are quite stupid riddles, but all right. No, this is quite a academic riddles. <laughs> sure. Academic meaning. Learn marsupials. All right, and not so academic. Michael, how can you tell the difference between a can of chicken soup and a can of tomato soup? Uh, can, what is can? Can. Uh, uh, how do you explain a can, Pavel? Help me. <laughs> I know, but I cannot. Uh, uh, it's a, a metal, a metal, metal. cylinder that we uh -huh. put food in, like a can of peas, metal, a can of metal. corn, a can of soup. Uh -huh. You look at the sticker. You look at the sticker. And that is the answer. All right. Okay. Yeah. Actually, Michael got the answer. One <laughs> point for Michael. All right. I'm going to give you, you a need point to stage for that. <laughs> All right. You look at the label. Yeah, okay. don't I will. The label is the outside thing on a can. Okay. So that is the answer. Yes. Look at the label. Okay. Very good. All right. Very stupid. Ah, now this one. Okay. This one actually has. All right. Kind of English related. All right, Pavel. Why is an eye doctor like a teacher? Uh, why is it, All right. Many riddles come in this form. Why are one A and B alike, or why? is something like a something. Mm, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, a doctor uh, try to uh, try to <laughs> Here, I'm giving you a clue. Try to treat uh, of uh, 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 patient, uh, but uh, and the uh, teacher tried to uh, treat uh, uh, of the uh, treat uh, the pu pupil. Yes, ah. pupil. Pu yes, yes, yes. Pavel, I'm, I'm going to give Pavel a point for that. Okay. Exactly, because they both test pupils. Pupil is that point in your eye, and pupils are also students. Excellent. Students. Yes, and also part of the eyeball. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Many people uh, uh, try to uh, test... Uh, <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. Here's another stupid one for you, Michael. Da, da, da. Why is mayonnaise never ready? Mayonnaise never ready. Mm-hmm. Never ready. Oh, I guess we are going to learn some kind of obscure vocabulary today. Not really obscure, but different meanings. <laughs> so, because it is always dressing. Yeah, oh, you, you downloaded <laughs> that. Ah, no fair. No, no I didn't that. go on. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I uploaded this, the wrong version to the verb link. Okay, because it is always dressing. All right, mayonnaise is a form of dressing. Okay, we call them usually salad dressings. Did you know that, actually? No. 
Um, okay, actually, this may sound strange, but when you have a salad, uh, do you usually, what do you put on the salad? Do you put something on the salad? Like a salad with lettuce and tomato and onion and carrots. Yeah, you can put mayonnaise. mayonnaise. You could. What do you normally put? Mayonnaise. You do? Okay. Yeah. All right. This is Bob. quite uh, um, like uh, um, like all people use this uh, mayonnaise yeah, right. for uh, this purpose. Yeah. It's very cheap. Uh, it's uh, uh, the most popular dressing uh, in uh, Russia. Uh, most, not most popular. Uh, the, the, yes, the more the most popular for dressing in Russia, mayonnaise. Really, the mayonnaise? most accessible, the most cheap. I yes. have a totally stupid question for you, but actually, uh, Pavel, I'm. Have, do you know what Russian dressing is in English? Uh, mayonnaise. No. It's not. <laughs> okay. All right. In America, okay, you can buy Russian dressing to put on your salad. What it is, it's mayonnaise with pickles and tomato uh, paste or tomato sauce. So it's mixed mayonnaise and tomato with chopped up pickles in it. We call that Russian dressing. It's very common in no. very common in the United States, but you've never heard of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, popular Russian dress, uh, uh, popular Russian dressing is mayonnaise and uh, soft, uh, so soft, uh, soup, so soap. And and what? Uh, looks so like mayonnaise. What is soap. it? Soap. Mm. Soap. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Uh, yeah, right. I was so confused right now. So cream. Oh. So sour cream. cream. So ah, sour, sour cream. cream and mayonnaise. Yeah. Sour okay. Cream. Yes. Many dr types of dressings. Americans. Basically, there are two things we put on salad. They're both called salad dressing, although they're nothing alike. One is a mix of sour cream and mayonnaise. Maybe it has a lot of basil in it. Um, maybe it has other herbs and spices. Maybe pickles, chopped up pickles. Um, other, maybe a chopped onions. Uh, who, who knows? It could have other things in it. The other kind, which is also called salad dressing, is... Uh, oil and vinegar mixed sal vegetable oil and vinegar mixed together again with various basically uh, got with a lot of garlic and herbs like basil and oregano it's called Italian dressing but uh, yeah Americans always put dressing on their salads they expect that that's normal on a lettuce salad that is yeah Interesting. Okay, but you, I, I, somehow I knew you would have no idea what Russian dressing was. It's very American. Strangely enough, there's no such thing as American dressing either. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Uh, so cream uh, uh, looks like uh, mayonnaise. Uh, it's uh, but it's better. Mix of uh, ah, not mix. It's uh, uh, product uh, of uh, cow. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is. It's uh, uh, or uh, all such products, by the way. Just so you know, for vocabulary, all such products: sour cream, butter, ice cream, cheese, are called dairy products. Dairy. dairy products. Yeah. The <clears throat> Place the building, the manufacturing plant where they make cheese or ice cream or sour cream or butter is called a dairy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And since you want to talk about cows, Pavel, 
Fine. Here, here's your question. If a papa bull eats three bales of hay and a baby bull eats one bale, how much hay will a mama bull eat? <laughs> uh, uh, maybe three bales of hay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is bales of hay? Okay. Hay is uh, uh, dry uh, gr uh, grass. Exactly. Long, grown as long as possible. Dried grass, cut low, and then um, it's wrapped up usually into a large rectangle and tied with twine. Uh, thin string, cheap str cheap rope, thin rope, not between string and rope, uh, and it's heavy, it's v really heavy. Nothing will eat mama bull because they're not remaining <laughs> hay for what? her. No, because there's no hay. No. Yeah. You guys, there's no such thing as a mama bull. Oh. Oh, a bull. <laughs> is always a male cow, all right? A bull is a male cow. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's no such thing as a mama bull. <laughs> do, you, do, you guys, do you guys know what a female cow is called? Cow. 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 No, actually, we have another word in English. We call it a heifer, particularly heifer. if it gives milk. Definitely. Yes, often just referred to as a cow. We'll see the cows in the field. But a cow can be a bull or a heifer, a uh, female. Particularly cows that give milk are called heifers. Or really fat women. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> My God, she's, she's such a heifer. <laughs> <laughs> Very derogatory, okay? Be careful how you... How <laughs> you use that one? Oh, goodness! All right, Let's talk some more about cows, Michael. Why? Why do cows wear bells? Or I may, I, do cows wear bells where you live? Mm. <laughs> why do cows, Michael? Do you know why cows? We're to bells. hear them, to hear them, like uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> I understand. I understand. Uh, okay. Uh, they need uh, uh, they need to scare uh, wolves and uh, bear. Be bear. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, exactly. Okay. Uh, okay. Many animals. Uh, uh, scared, scared, scared by bells. Really? Uh, I, I, yeah. I actually don't know. That might be true. I, I don't know. But the answer to the riddle is they wear bells because their horns don't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> Of course, horns has two. Their horns have horns have two different meanings. Obviously, Pavel gets it. Okay. All right. Very silly. Okay, Michael. Michael, what does an envelope say when you lick it? Michael, are what, you is like it? what is like it? Uh, well, if this was an envelope, you guys don't even mm -hmm. remember. You guys don't send mail anymore. You use email, but you uh, it has glue that you would have mm -hmm. to uh, use your tongue and lick it, or like you lick a stamp uh, and stick the stamp on the envelope. So you lick it. Use your tongue. You lick a lollipop. Nothing. Little, little kids have a stick. 
with a candy on it that's a lollipop. Uh, they, they lick it. Nothing. Uh, why? <laughs> because you lick right. it and it's nothing. It says nothing. It just shuts up. That's right. <laughs> shut up. Like, be quiet. Shut up. Like, shut. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> that one was stupid. All right. Okay. Next one. Pavel, why shouldn't you believe a person in bed? Why shouldn't you believe a person in bed? No, someone in bed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Michael, do you know? <laughs> the person in bed? Yeah. Mm. Why you should mm. not believe a person in bed? Mm, I don't know. Uh, because he is lying. <laughs> mm. oh. okay. Ah, yes, he's lying, he's, he's lying, lying, to lie, not tell the truth, to lie, prone. Oh, yeah, okay. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> More fun with, okay, ready, here. More fun with cows. All right. What? <laughs> More dairy fun. What is the best way to prevent... Prevent, stop, milk from turning sour. Michael, do you know? What is the best uh -uh. way to prevent milk from turning sour? Pavel? Uh, to drink. To drink. Drink it. <laughs> That's good. That's actually a very... I'll give you a point for that one. And uh, uh, beat on the bell. What? Beat on the cow? <laughs> what? No, no, no. Bell, bell. Bell. Uh, okay. Ah no. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, maybe it's a Russian uh, mm, uh, saga. S saga. Oh okay. Uh, oh, about I don't know that. Uh, uh, mm, if uh, somebody will be. Uh, Beat uh, on bell, ring on bell, big bell. Ah. Uh, uh, really? That, uh, uh, milk uh, uh, will uh, will be to, uh, will turn uh, too sour. Ah, okay. Um, we usually use the verb ring, ring a bell. Ring, ring, ring a bell. Yes, ring a bell. Really? I think I've heard that a long time ago. It's like um, old, right? Like I don't, uh, I don't uh, remember exactly. <laughs> I don't either. I think I've heard that before. Something about that. Um, do you know what an old wives' tale is? Have you ever heard that e expression? An old wives' tale. Uh, old wives' tale. Tale. Yeah. Uh, low, low, low frequency wives. Wife, wife, with an F. Wife, I have a wife, and plural, <laughs> not good. Two wives, like one knife, two knives, one wife, ah, two wives. Uh, not uh, not uh, wives. Uh huh. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I... Uh, so in, I uh, mixed up. Uh, in... Uh, old Y. So in reality, it should have a, a uh, an apostrophe to show possession. An old wives tale with an apostrophe. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
an old wives' tale is, uh, well, for example, if you ring a bell, then the, the milk will not turn sour or will turn sour. Old stories generally passed down from generation to generation, usually mother to daughter, mother to daughter, um, that are usually superstitious. Okay, and, and usually we use the expression old wives' tale to indicate that they're actually not right. Um, so I would say, oh, that's just an old wives' tale, Pavel. I'm indicating a little bit that I don't believe it. Ah, that's silly. That's something, you know, some old story from a long time ago. All right. Superstition, probably. Okay. Also, <laughs> ring a bell. Does that ring a bell? Uh, ring a bell. Do you know what it means if I say that something rings a bell? Do you, do you know that, Michael? Yeah, it reminds you something. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right. Okay, I, I liked Michael's answer, though. Going back to the question, the best way to prevent milk from turning sour, to drink it. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. like that. But that's better answer. The, the answer I have is uh, to leave it in the cow. <laughs> that's a stupid answer. Yeah, I like yours better. Okay. All right. Uh all right, Michael, why does a dog wag his tail? Mm. <laughs> because... Mm -hmm. Because he has the, this tail. He's my answer. Because he has one. No. Yeah. Okay. That's All right. why he wags his You definitely got the idea of these silly riddles. And yes, that, that's a good riddle answer. But okay, because no one else will wag it for him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like your answer better. Again. All right. Okay. Yeah. Some riddles are better than others. <laughs> All right. Why? So what is the answer? I like your answer tail? better because he has one, but okay, because no one else will wag it for him. <laughs> good answer. So he has to do it himself. <laughs> it's a good answer. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Pavo, why did the cross eyed teacher lose his job? Cross-eyed teacher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what 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 uh, what what's uh, uh, what is what is my uh, what what mind? Uh, uh, what? What? Uh, what is mine in not? Uh, what mind of uh, cross-eyed? What's the meaning? Ah, what's what's a meaning? Yes. Cross-eyed. I was afraid you're going to ask me that. Okay. I, okay. I'll try to demonstrate. Did <laughs> uh -huh. you see? When your it's eyes so both point inside. <laughs> Cross-eyed. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, uh, this teacher uh, can, cannot uh, <coughs> cannot uh, uh, cannot see to eyes of uh, of his student. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. G let me give so you the answer. So sure. because uh, he um, he retired. He retired. <laughs> yeah, or he switched the job. Or he uh, won a million dollars. Here's my answers, <laughs> original what? answers. What? Okay. Why what? Um, because he, uh, but he like, lost uh, won a million dollars. If he lost his job, that implies oh, okay. so that it was involuntary. He was fired. Yeah. He was fired. Right. Okay. So. Well, no. Actually, no. Let's, let's be clear. In English, when I say someone lost their job, it could mean they were fired or it could mean that they were laid Close off. Closed down. 
yeah. closed down or something similar. Yeah. The company was closed down. They, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the real answer. You should is, you should give me time a little time. I would oh well, the same kind I already of. wrote it. I already put it in there. Right? <laughs> I slept and I hit the enter key because he could not control his pupils. Ha All right. ha ha! Oh, his pupils are <laughs> doing this. Okay. Now now uh, uh, you're laughing about sick people. <laughs> yeah, I know it's horrible. That's that's not PC. Uh, it's not very politically correct, is it? That's yeah, horrible because, uh, for example, if you uh, this class watch like uh, um, a person who has a problem with his eye or something, he may be insulted yeah. about that. Right. You are lucky that I don't have uh, any problems. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> I think people are a little, in my opinion, what, what is your opinion? I think people are a little too PC these days. I have to be careful about everyone's feelings. <laughs> oh, I can't hurt a gay person's feelings or somebody with a who's a who has dwarfism, who's sh a short, small people, or red-haired people, or black people, or Filipino people. You're not allowed to hurt anyone's feelings by saying anything that might be funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you want to make jokes about Americans or people of Irish descent? I I, I like them. <laughs> I laugh. It doesn't bother me. But it's not PC. I know. Eh. Did your mother, Michael? Did your mother ever tell you don't do that? Cross your eyes. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Your eyes will stay that way. I think yes. I think yes. yes. Or maybe uh, okay. to my sister. It's international. Yes. All right. Pavel, did your mother ever say that? Don't do that. Your face will stick that way. Yeah, it will stick. This yeah, right. You, you make a stupid face. I, don't do that. Your face will stick. Is that international? <laughs> stick. Yeah. Stay. If you're stuck, okay, if your car's stuck in the mud, stick, stuck. If you stick, you, you can't move. Uh, if you stick, oh, you a sticker, you put on something, you, you can't take it off. It's stuck. No, stick. Your face will stick, meaning you, you make a stupid face and your face will get stuck. Anyway, American parents tell their children that their face will stick, although it has never been shown to ever happen, ever. <laughs> it's very common. Okay. Do you guys know any riddles? Or I'm going to start I'm going to have to start pulling riddles out of my own head. I do know a bunch of riddles though. But uh, I would love to hear some new ones add to my repertoire. <laughs> uh okay. You you guys don't know any? All right. No. What's black and white and red all over? Once again, what is black and white and red all over? <laughs> what and white and uh, uh, I don't understand to this word. Red all. Black and white and red all over. Ah, and red. <laughs> the answer. Mm -hmm. Well, they're actually this is a classic English joke slash riddle. The riddle is uh, a newspaper. It's black and white, and it's red. You read like you read oh, a book. Oh, okay. A past tense, black and white, and red all over. And then this is a classic joke in America. It has very many. Other answers, uh, which are usually joke answers, but are usually very bad answers. Like a penguin after I beat him with a baseball bat. <laughs> ha, ha, <laughs> really horrible. Ha. 
violent, <laughs> stupid answers. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, here's another stupid joke. Uh, riddle joke. Why is six afraid of seven? I've told this one before, Michael. You must have heard this. No. Six no? afraid of seven? Okay. Why is six afraid of seven? Yes. Why is six afraid of seven? No idea? Uh-uh. Because seven, eight, nine... Uh, what is the idea? I didn't catch. Okay, right in, in the chat box. Seven, eight, nine. No, <laughs> why? Is a, uh, a so why is afraid? So six is afraid of seven. Six fears seven because seven, okay. eight, eight sounds like the nine, the number seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, and the past tense of eat, eight. Uh -huh. Seven, eight, nine. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Eight. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Nine. Uh, so, eight and eight, uh, the sums uh, uh, as well uh, as well. Seven, well, yes, seven might eat six. Seven, eight, six, no. Eight, seven, eight, nine. It's stupid. <clears throat> it's just sequential numbers, but it sounds like the past tense of eat. Of course, you would be afraid of a bear if it ate your cousin, for example. Oh, so uh, seven, eight, nine, like uh, physically eight. like to Physically eat, right? eight, yes, A-T-E, eight. That's right. Ha, ha, ha. But uh, uh, there is no any... Um, uh, logical. Uh, I mean, if you would say uh, that uh, seven, eight, eight, like eight. It's a pun. It's a riddle. Riddles can be just silly jokes based on puns, or riddles can be brain teasers, both or both at the same time. Ideally, you have to figure them out. A classic. All right, classic riddle, which there are literally probably thousands of answers to. Uh, as a joke, but classic riddle, you probably heard. Why did the chicken cross the road? You guys have never heard this? Why did, why did the chicken cross the road? I've heard, but I don't remember the answer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, because the chicken out something. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. Literally, there are probably a thousand answers, but there are joke answers. The one, the true, pristine, the first original riddle. Why did the chicken cross the road? Answer: To get to the other side. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's silly. And then there's a lot of other stupid joke answers. Um, many, many, many. Okay, the oldest riddle in the world. I, you guys had to have heard of this. What... Uh, what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? Hmm. Yes, is is a life of uh, people. Yeah, a, a man, the life of a man. All right. <coughs> oh, that one is. A, it's a life of uh, a man. That's right, Life of a Man, okay, uh, uh, a.k.a. also known as the Riddle of the Sphinx. And to tell you the truth, I have no idea 
why it is known as the Riddle of the Sphinx, but it is. It, anecdotal, just, it's said to be like the oldest riddle in the world, but in any case, riddles are interesting. In some primitive cultures, they were used instead of fighting battles with swords and spears and bow and arrow, they would have riddle contests. <laughs> See who could outsmart the other tribe, and they would get things, food or commodities. They would have riddle wars, which I think is a great idea. I think we should do that now. Um, okay, here's one. I've told this before. You might have heard it, Michael. I don't know. Okay, here we go. A bear. All right. A bear, a, a bear uh, walks 10 kilometers south. He then walks 10 kilometers east. Then the bear walks 10 kilometers north. The bear ends up exactly where he started. What color is the bear? Burrow. What? Brown, sorry. Brown? <laughs> Brown? No. Pavel? Uh, this is uh, a logic puzzle, actually. Can you repeat again? Yes. A bear walks 10 kilometers south. He then walks 10 kilometers east. After that, the bear walks 10 kilometers north. The bear ends up exactly where he started. What color is the bear? The color uh, that was uh, f from the beginning. I didn't say the color in the beginning. So, the, that color, that color that was uh, from the beginning. He's <laughs> yes. the... Answer that you look that's, for. That's not re the really logical question. Uh, okay. Me... Bear cannot change his color. Okay. He, no, he never does change his color. Okay. A, I, I started with a bear. I didn't say what color. A bear walks 10 kilometers south. All right. Shall I demonstrate using a frisbee? Okay. Here's my frisbee. Do you guys play frisbee? No. Okay, you should. I highly recommend it. It's good for your uh, cardiovascular. Okay, here in the center, the bear goes 10 kilometers south. He then goes 10 kilometers east. He then goes 10 kilometers north. Where does this have to be? There's a reason I picked a circular object. Where does the bear have to be? He didn't form a square, he only formed a triangle. How can somebody go 10 kilometers south, 10 east, and 10 north and be at the same place? He started. An equilateral triangle, equal sides. How could that be unless this is the starting point? It's the North Pole. So the bear starts at the North Pole. He goes 10 kilometers south. He goes 10 kilometers east. From wherever he is, 10 kilometers north will take him right back to the North Pole. <laughs> Thus, we know the bear must be white because only polar bears <laughs> live at the North Pole. <laughs> Very logical. <laughs> Do you want to Google it? <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> now, uh, okay, I'll give you one from the top of my head. How many? Um, okay. How many uh, windows uh, uh, you should clean in New York City? Uh, no, no. Uh, continue. I in two, in two minutes I will uh, return with the riddle. Okay. <laughs> two minutes. Okay. All right. Now, all right. At the end of our last riddle, we have a polar bear. Uh, why? Why is it that no matter what, under any circumstances, uh, in the wild or 
uh, in controlled circumstances in a zoo. Why is it? No, I, I, I messed this up. I messed up the riddle. Never mind. Polish. Erase. <laughs> Uh, I'll give it to you anyway, but I messed it up. I, sh I said too much. The riddle is, why will a polar bear never eat a penguin egg? <laughs> why is it that a polar bear will never eat a penguin egg? <laughs> uh, polar, uh, uh, mm, uh, polar bear uh, live in uh, the north. Uh, and the penguin live in the south. That is it, exactly. He's, okay. He's living, he's living in the south. Or yeah. we, we can use uh, present simple tense. Polar bears live because it's a common normal thing at the state. Polar bears live in the north and penguins live in the south. So since it's a normal thing, we, we'd probably use present simple. But yeah, that's it. You got it, correct. Very good. Okay, here is my riddle for you. Oh, good. Uh, how much should you charge to wash all the windows in Seattle? <laughs> how much should you charge to wash all the windows in Seattle? Uh-huh. That's a good one. Uh, boy, I don't know. Pavel, you got any ideas? No, I haven't <laughs> any ideas. <laughs> I have. I don't know. You got me. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I can't think of an answer. You're. If you can't think of any answer or any solution, you are stumped. We can use this as an adjective. I'm stumped, or you stump someone as a verb. I'm stumped, Michael. Okay. Now listen to the answer. So this is uh, no, no, no. Uh, ten dollars per window. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's uh, oh. it's difficult without uh, answers, Oakley. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. It's Google uh, question uh, for a job uh, interview. Yeah. All also. right. Good one. Okay, you you got me. That's a good one. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right, here, here's, here's one for you. Farmer Brown has uh, three brown chickens. He has two black chickens, and he has one white chicken. How many chickens can say that they are not brown chickens? No one of them, because they don't speak. Ah, very good. Chickens don't talk. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, here's a math problem. What is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 0? Uh, you cannot uh, to 0 multiply. Uh, well, you can, but of course, you're always going to have the same answer, which is? Uh, 0. 0. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Here's the no. riddle for you. Why okay. are manhole covers round? Why are manhole covers round? Yeah. Because men have round bodies. <laughs> no, no, no. Manhole. Uh... Yeah. Man hole. Do you know what is that? Oh, okay. Why are manhole covers round? I know the answer. Yeah. It's manholes around. 
Yeah, but why it's made round? So because to understand the round. question. Yeah, why are manhole covers round? Covers. The covers mm -hmm. are round because the holes are round. Okay. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Gotcha. Uh, I got that one. I feel better. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Any, any last riddles? We've only got seconds left. Pavel, you don't have any? Okay. okay. I have one. One more? A man, a man pushed his car to a hotel and lost his fortune. fortune. What happened? A man pushed his car or cart? To a hotel. Car. To a hotel. 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 And lost his fortune. What happened? Hmm. Pavel, any ideas? <laughs> you will never guess <laughs> this kind of no. riddle. Okay. What happened? Uh, so, he landed on boardwalk. Ah, that's boardwalk. horrible. He landed on boardwalk. Okay. Boardwalk. What, what's boardwalk? Uh, okay, I get it. All right, hang on. Um, this is a reference to the game Monopoly. The board game Monopoly, if you've ever heard of Monopoly, uh -huh. where you buy different properties. Boardwalk is the most expensive property. So, ah, his car... The car, those little metal things you, the <laughs> playing piece you move around the board, is his car. So he moved to Boardwalk, to a hotel. So if somebody else has a hotel on Boardwalk, you would have to play Monopoly to understand this. He he loses all his money. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Ah, that's actually a good this, one. I actually this was, like that one. This were uh, two Google uh, questions. That's but actually short, a good uh, one. I, I like that one. That one's very tricky. But if you <laughs> if you're thinking of Boardwalk, if you're thinking of Monopoly, it's very simple. It's very lots of, of detail. But <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks for playing our game, gentlemen. Thanks a lot. I'll see you again real soon. I hope. You guys have a great day. Bye. Okay, thank for you. Now. <laughs> bye bye.